Hey, what's up, amigos? It's been a while. I've been away, been busy. However, I'm back today and I'm going to show you how to turn this photo into this just using Adobe Lightroom. So once you've imported the photo into Lightroom, what we're going to do is the basic adjustments and that's, you know, lifting out the shadows, uh, getting the whites right, the high, covering the highlights from the sky and the surroundings and uh, let's just get started doing so. So on the right basic panel, what we're going to do is we are going to recover the highlights. So. Uh, as you can see, as I move this lighter down, we started getting a bit of the skies up above and a bit from the windshield. Now, I need to recover a bit of the shadows, these areas here around the shadows. So I'm going to move the slider to the right and just about there. Now you'd be thinking it looks ugly. Something is wrong with it. It looks a bit HDR-ish and that's because we've lifted the blacks way up or the shadows. So now what we're going to do, we're going to bring it down by adding contrast using the white slider. I mean, it's already white, so I'm not going to do a lot. And then of course the blacks maybe around I think around there is just about fine I don't usually do that but because we're not going to process the photo further into Photoshop like we're not gonna gonna add more contrast we're not going to add any certain effect in Photoshop because we're not moving it there that's completely lightroomish I'm going to be adding a bit of contrast down here say maybe around 30, 34, and let's add a bit of tonal contrast using clarity. About 20. Mm, I'm just like eyeballing it right now. And I'm gonna add a bit of vibrance. And we'll decrease a bit of the saturation. You know, it's a uh, subjective. It's a taste thing. Just about maybe it's there. All right. Now I'm looking at it. Maybe we've crushed the blacks a lot. So let's dial it down a bit. Just right there. That's fine. Capiche. All right. Now what I'm gonna do next is selectively bringing back the saturation all right just to give it that look so what I'm going to do is increase on the red if you remove the red it doesn't really affect much of the photo but you have some elements like here here and there that we need to bring back to the photo say around there and that because orange and yellow affects the same about color tones as you can see, I'm going to just bring back a bit of the yellows. Um, I know there are a lot of trees of green. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to put, put the, uh, the greens down a bit with the aqua. And because the car is blue, I would like to focus on the car. I'm going to increase its saturation just right there all right purple magenta sorry boys you're out of the league all right now let's add a bit of blues to the shadows and that gives it that look let's just increase a bit of the saturation say about nine 
and then let's see all right moving onwards we're going to add a bit of uh, sharpening I was about to say saturation I'm going to mask it out I don't want to sharpen the skies nor the body of the car just like these details right there awesome I see that we can recover a bit more of the sky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the graduated filter bring it down just right about there okay and I'm going to put the highlights down furthermore what else can we do I think we're, we're just about okay what we can do is add a bit more of blues to the sky maybe there it looks lovely wow yeah see Hmm. Let's add a bit of contrast. I know some people are just rolling right now. What is this guy doing? All right. Now we want to focus more on the car, right? This is like the center of attention of the whole image. So what we're going to do is, I think, get the graduated filter. Um, you know, this is something that I've been doing for years. Some people like it, some people doesn't. Again, it's subjective. It's just the way it is. And of course, what I'm going to do is darken the ground. Yes, maybe about there. Let's bring that up a bit, like so. A bit of sharpening, clarity to the road, darken it further, right about there. All right, now it's time to enhance the details of the car itself. So what I'm going to do, let's zoom in a bit. Let's see what details we would like to bring out. And that would be the headlamps, the uh, front grille and uh, the number, the, the, well, the wheels and the rims. And I'm not using my Wacom tablet, so I'm going to do that sort of manually. Let's increase on the clarity there and just notch there you go of the exposure I'm just going to paint it in let's zoom in further it's hard to do it without the Wacom tablet so yeah the car was really messy it was raining a bit cloudy the weather was super amazing Right, you can turn on the mask by um, basically checking the box down here that would show you where you're painting exactly but it would consume a lot of the CPU power it might get laggy a bit I really need to get like a new machine but Excuse the sloppiness a bit, and uh, you get what I'm trying to do right here. I'm going to do the same thing here. Might also add a bit of further sharpening to the adjustment. By the way, <clears throat> you can um, in increase the size of the brush in, in Lightroom by hitting the right and left brackets on the keyboard and let's say you did this by mistake and you want to undo you can um, of course click alt and brush it away like so you can control the softness of the brush and the feather and stuff and the size down from here but you know shortcuts are always going to do And let's move on.
Yeah, I think that would be it for this adjustment. You can do a bit of uh, dodging and burning in the Lightroom by selecting a brush, sorry, a new brush. And then I'm going to reset this and I'm going to add a bit of exposure and then just, you know, go over the places that you'd like to dodge, sorry, yeah, dodge. And then do the same thing with the burn, but we're not going to do it right now. You get the idea. All right, so what is this missing? Is a bit of, um, I see there are a bit of highlights that we can emphasize down here. And we, we'll see if we can get it show right here as well. So I'm going to grab a new brush adjustment. I'm going to keep it as it is. Point 43 is good. I'm going to left the shadows a bit. Uh, we might increase the exposure furthermore. Let's bump that up a bit. And uh, add a bit of saturation. Grab the brush and just paint. Look at that. Don't judge me for this, but it looks good. Mm, no. Yeah, just keep it to the trees. Looks better on the trees. Maybe a bit down here. Yeah. And there you go. Amigos, I think we are done. So that was a very fast way on to how to edit, you know, sometimes you just don't want to do it on fo in Photoshop. Like this car, this shot, you know, I don't, I don't think it's worthwhile moving to Photoshop and edit it and bring it back. I just wanted to do a quick edit and there you go. So, uh, all right, there's one more thing that we forgot to do. Um, that is basically creating that lifting up the shadows creating that Effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a point down here and Maybe just bit in the middle so it doesn't move and I'm going to left There The shadows So if I turn this one off Maybe we can to just put that a bit down there. All right, cool. That's it, amigos. We are done. It's your turn right now. Um, experiment with it. Yeah, let me know what you think. If you have any comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.